Donaldson joining us now after RSL comes from behind to defeat Montreal. And Jasper, congratulations on the win. I know Pablo has preached mindset and mentality, and he told us, so I assume he told you, no matter what happens with the first goal, we got to stay in the same, the same place, whether we scored or we conceded. Did you feel like the club did a pretty good job of that today, conceding in the opening minute? Uh, thank you, first of all. Uh, I think, yeah, we did a tremendous job bouncing back from, from the first minute. Um, I didn't feel that we were like not concentrated or something, but we have to rewatch it. Obviously, like going like, going down in the first minute is kind of tough, but uh, we did a great job from there. Um, it didn't take us out of our, our out of our rhythm. Uh, we can continue playing out of the back. What we what we were practicing on over the last couple of weeks, we get more comfortable with that. Uh, had some great chance in the first half, and then finally uh, break the lock in, in the second one. And then with the with the quality we have up top, uh, we're able to to score consecutive goals. So, yeah, great job from the team today. So take me back to preseason. Take me back to Tucson when you're trying to work yourself into the squad, not only make the team, but try to figure out what the best position is for you within this group. How have you kind of approached the day in, day out to prove to Pablo that you deserve to be a starting player and an important piece of what he's trying to do? Um, I, had the, I had the luck to to work on a fantastic uh, head coach in, in university level with Davidovich, and he was always preaching. Once you made it to pro level, it's just it's about how much you can put in on on the field, and doesn't matter where the coach or the team needs you. Like you just you just like leave it all out on the pitch and, and perform as well as you can. And I think that's that's what I what I always do. Um, not even the preseason. I try to push to the limit every single practice. Try to try to get the guys with me, uh, no matter who it is. If the if the coach needs me on on any other position, uh, I'll jump in. I'm happy to jump in. Try to do my work. Obviously, I have to get get comfortable in a couple of positions I didn't play before. But um, yeah, it's just it's just the game for me. It's so much fun just to work around those many great guys in the team who who trust me now. And uh, yeah, I think we do a fantastic job from there on. Pablo told us that uh, one of the reasons you were in the lineup today is how much ground you covered last week. He said it was just a staggering amount when they when they looked at the readouts from the game. Is that something you have always been able to do? Run, run forever, but run with a purpose at the same time? Uh, I wouldn't say it's always purposeful what I'm running, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I I I can I can run a lot. Yeah, it's uh Thanks to my mom and dad, uh, <laughs> who gave me the genetics to just keep going. Um, and I think it's, I, I always tell my, my friends, um, it's just about the mentality. Like, just just think ahead, think what can happen in the game. Let the, don't let it like evolve before you. Like, be part of it. Uh, so that that drives you to, to do that one more one more run down the line to to get yourself in an assisting position to get yourself in a goal scoring position also to, to defend the last piece. Uh, so that's always like trying to look forward to making the next play, and that's just a drive you need to have I think to to keep going to keep pushing yourself. And I think that's a big mentality piece, not only I have but like a couple of of the guys on the team have. So uh, yeah, that's something you can rely on. So from individual mentality to a collective mentality, how important are days like this where you're on the road? You get that lead and you can kind of hold on and close the game out in a somewhat comfortable style. Uh, really important. Um, I think just just to get confident within the team right now. Uh, Montreal was doing a fantastic job in their their conference, uh, number one in their, their division. So uh, to come here uh, with the travel, with the heavy legs and to, to put down such a strong performance and to take three points away of, uh, out of Montreal. Um, I think it's just a great, great effort of the team, great achievement. So uh, we have to, we have to keep building on this. Next, next week's a home game against Houston again, um, and the team needs to, needs to be as sharp. We can't let it slip right now. Uh, we come from two strong performances, but we have to, we have to keep, keep focusing on the next one. Yes, but you got a very nice compliment during the game from my broadcast partner Brian Dunst. That he compared you to Luke Mulholland, a guy who really came out of nowhere and worked his way into the group and and helped the club win a lot of games. He, we've had a lot of Europeans here who've come to play for RSL, but you and he might be the only two Europeans who passed through American colleges. What made you make your way through uh, college soccer here in the U.S.? How did that happen for you that you ended up at, at uh, Pitt? Uh, for me, it was just 
the, the level in Europe to make, a, to make a jump into professional soccer is quite difficult. Uh, I was doing my studies next to playing soccer. And once I finished my bachelor, it was always uh, the decision to start playing soccer and working full time. And so one of my friends told me about the opportunity going to America, uh, doing a master's program and playing soccer in like a great, great facility, great programs. And that's how I, how I came along with uh, the Pitman soccer program. Uh, I talked to the head coaches, assistant coaches. They made me feel very comfortable about their their way of playing soccer, uh, how they wanna how they wanna build the program, how to how to build a legacy in Pittsburgh. Uh, we did a fantastic job over the one and a half, two years I've been there. Um, they helped me grow as a player a lot, um, and I think from there on, it's just yeah, what I, what I said before. It's just about the about the mentality, about the drive. How much are you willing to put in every day to to get better? Well, congratulations on the win. That was a heck of a performance today. Thanks for joining us, and we will talk to you again going forward. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Jasper Loppelson joining us here as he makes a 